Happy Hari Raya, guys. And as usual, I'm at home on this public holiday, sorting through admin stuff, i.e. keeping track of all my file storage stuff. So on the on the topic of backups and file storage, I've had this sort of like irrational sort of fear of um, files being corrupted, and I don't know about that corruption. In my ideal world, I can just check in all my my files into Git, and then I can do like a Git status, and then I then I know that something has changed. But in in all honesty, that's impractical when you're dealing with uh, large files and things like that. So. I've stumbled into using BetterFS, and um, I have criticized BetterFS, and I still am not going to recommend it wholeheartedly because I do fear that I'm going to lose my data, and I have made precautions to sort of like r-sync it off to another host. So I do have a backup plan, but the but but after using um, BetterFS for a while now, I I um, I like the feature, and the features that I like is the copy and write. And what does that mean? Copy and write means that you can you can make a change to the file system, and it kind of has like it kind of um, can tell you the difference between that last write and this write. So it's like kind of like appending all the time that everything becomes like a snapshot. But to use that BetterFS feature practically is um, is quite difficult without some tools. And that tool I discovered is called Snapper, and it's cool. Let me just show you how it all works. So you, so you you create the config like I've done here, um, running that that one line, and then it just creates a sort of like thing. Uh, uh, so so in configs is is the, is my config now, and I've named it raid raid one after my after my uh, the name of my better fest disk which is on mount raid, raid 1 so i've left it at the defaults and you might be wondering what these other files are um, that's where it gets the um, the default template of your um, for 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 populating your config and then the filters there are just saying like don't like uh, don't snapshot like uh, you know proc and other special uh, drives or whatever mounts so when when it's all working, um, then then you can um, uh, well the next thing to do right is to uh, run um, a couple of services. So Snapper uh, timeline, for example, takes um, is a is a is a timer that um, <laughs> that. Takes a snapshot every hour. So the last one ran about 18 minutes ago. And uh, let me see timers. Uh, oh, I can never remember all these little commands here. Um, and then there's also um, a, a cleanup one. So basically, by default, it, it snapshots every hour and it has a cleanup thing so that it, uh, and depending on your default rules, it clean it, it basically removes old snapshots uh, so you don't have too many of them so the next thing i was going to show you is basically a list of my of my snapshots and the cool thing here is that you can do like a diff let's see if i so i'm i'm diffing between uh, 9 and 20 here and i like to see a diff because it just shows you what's actually happening on that drive and it, as you can see here Plus, I guess, means additional files. And this is no surprise, actually. This is what I expect. So what's happening here is that my webcam is appending um, new files into these directories. So, so, And that makes sense, right? So I know that these files have been added. So so likewise, when I delete things, I can also see them being uh, files being removed. And if files change for whatever, I can see it. So Snapper on BetterFS allows me to actually see what's happening on my disk it allows me to to if something gets corrupted or something's changed i can i can notice it now so this is a big weight off my shoulders and i thought i'd share it with you guys so thanks for watching i hope that i hope that was useful and please give me a big thumbs up thanks very much guys